Okay, today is August the 11th, 2019, and I'm at my old middle school, which used to be the old Dublin High School in Dublin, Virginia. And I'm doing a little metal detecting. I'm using a White's Spectrum XLT to detect. And I had a little hit over here. And I dug out a core. And as you can see, there's a, looks like a penny right down here. Yeah, it's nothing old, but it is a find. So I'll get back with you. Hey, I'm back. This school was built in 1951, and it was designed in the hallways like a fallout shelter because of, I guess, the Cold War era and after World War II. But anyway, I've come on down a little bit. I've hit another signal and I see something right there. So I'm using the Pro Pointer by Garrett, which is a great pointer. And that's what it is. And it's a big Gatorade lid. Let's make sure there's nothing else in here. Doesn't look like it. All right, I'll get back with you. Well, I'm gonna give you the good, the bad, and the ugly with metal detecting. I had a nice 7.8 reading right here beside this track. And got to digging about four inches down. Come up with an old Coke can. So I'm on fire today. But, you know, it's all about the fun and the excitement of what you might find. Be back. Okay, I'm at another spot. There's been very little rain in this area. But anyway, come up on the hole here with a reading of about 7.8 and above. So whatever it is in this clod, right there it is. And we got another penny. Two pennies richer. All right, get back with you. Okay. Getting a good solid 80s in this area right here. So I'm going to dig this and see what we get. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back over here about 30 feet from the last spot I was at, which is right over in there. I'm coming down this little line they've mowed out to make it easy. Anyway, I knocked this core out. And something in the dirt. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, there's a coin. Let's see it right there. And we got 
Ito sa Pili. Napanig. Oh yeah. Not old, but still a penny. Something I do when I go metal detecting that helps. I always carry a bag, so when I dig trash up out of ground, that's where it goes. And then I can throw it away so I don't detect it at a later date. Plus it gets, you know, cleans the ground out. Cans and pop lids and tabs and you know, whatever you might find, but my finds like that, or if I found a coin or a ring or a jewelry or something, there's a little sandwich bag. Trash goes in that bag to be dumped. All right, get back with you. Okay, it's been a little while. I was way down there earlier. Now I've got me another little spot here, but I thought I was losing my mind because I dug it out. And as you can see, there was no reading here and no reading in the core. So I had to come back and of course it had come out and well, we've got a, another penny, 1963. So I'm a penny richer. So don't get too excited. I'm not. Anyway, I wanted to say uh, this little area here, oh, there's the old football field. Like I said, this used to be the old high school, but now it's the old Dublin Middle School. Population here is about in town. It's almost as big as New York City. It's got about 2,000 residents. And this is where I grew up. And it's a great place. It's like a Mayberry RFD. Oh without all the crime. Well, they're still crime, but not all that bad. All right, we'll get back with you. Alrighty, I'm back. I had to get out of that sun over there. It's about to toast me. There's my buddy on that side of the field, metal detecting. So I got over here in the shade. I'm a wuss. Anyway, I dug out that core. As you can see, Right down here, it looks like what's it, uh, a quarter. It's not silver, but it is a quarter. Quarter dollar. Anyway, I add this to my collection. So, pretty good find. I'll get back with you. Lesson, I was about to close this hole up here. And I always check it to make sure that there's nothing else in it. And when I stuck the pin pointer in there, I got another reading. And another quarter. Two of them together. Sweet. And I'm getting a little bit richer. Let's see if there's anything else in here. I'll tell you something. These Garrett pin pointers, you can't go wrong with these. They're a little pricey. That's about 130 bucks. But Lord, I tell you, it saves a lot of time and trouble. And it's accurate. All right, get back with you. All right, I'm not too far from where I found the two quarters. Still in the shade. Found them right back there. Anyway, we got a reading of a dime, and I think that's what it is. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it's not silver. But it is a dime. I have found silver dimes out here in this field. Found a 53 one day and a 
63, I think, or 64. No, 54 and a 63, I think is what they were. Yeah, let, let's see. Let's give another reading. Something else in there. Let me dig and I'll get back with you. All right, this is the other thing. Looks like a bent nail. It was near that dime. So I'll go in the trash bag. Make sure that there's nothing else around, which is why you need a pinpointer. And we're good to go. All right, guys. This is my last dig of the day. I don't have the oomph I used to have, but anyway, I got a reading on this white's detector of about a 78. Usually don't dig unless it's very high 60s in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And of course, you can see I got another hit there on the penny. Uh, had some junk today, but had some coins. Ended up with three quarters, about five pennies, and a dime. So all in all, it wasn't bad. It was fun. Always check your hole to make sure that you know there's nothing else in there before you close it back up and have to redig it. And like I said. This is a cool location. I like to come back here time to time. I live about 50 miles from here. But I grew up here and Dublin is right close to the University of Virginia Tech. Go Hokies. And it's a beautiful area. It's a lot of farmland, wide open spaces. But I like to hunt these kind of places. So anyway, we'll catch you next time. Y'all have a good one. Later.